in macroeconomics government spending is one of the most significant variables of the macroeconomic framework so we can analyze it by using the differential equations we know that we represent it with capital G and if it is specified with this differential equation it becomes a source of information for us and these are the units of the government expenditure and time is in years the initial condition is also given for the government expenditure which is 500 units so we can do a couple of things with it so let's get started with the time path initially the solution in this case we can find the definite solution as we will see this is the given differential equation we have uh, rearranged it we created this zero and we have shifted this term on the left hand side the purpose was simply to extract the values of small b and small a which are the uh, constant coefficients and constant term of the first order differential equations so these are the a couple of values that we were looking for in addition to this we are given the initial condition which is 500 so it is uh, uh, zero the value of B this means that we are dealing with a homogeneous case whereas the value of A is definitely non-zero which is 0 0.05 so now we can use the formula of the homogeneous case here is the um, formula of uh, homogeneous case in its definite form the value of a is there so we can substitute it and we will get this answer which is the time path of the government expenditure now we need to shed some light on its uh, dynamic stability uh, here the particular integral is equal to 0 because uh, the value of b is 0 and b over a would become 0 so we are left only with the complementary function and we have to look for the sign of the exponent which is showing that there is a negative value in the exponent and that will decay the exponential decay over time this is the deviation that is 500 which is a positive deviation so it, it also means that we are likely to have the graph from above the equilibrium so convergence is imminent convergence will take place the dynamic stability uh, will be there since the convergence is happening and the deviation is declining we should also consider this uh, in the form of a diagram here the diagram is clearly showing that we are having uh, dynamic stability because this is the equilibrium and this is the initial condition and over time the uh, dynamic equilibrium is uh, that thing which is approached by this uh, time path this is the equation of the time path and the positive deviation is on the decline as we are going ahead of time so the dynamic stable is uh, the equilibrium is dynamically stable now we can also analyze uh, this situation from a policy perspective again uh, the level of government expenditure after some time is also an important question in the minds of the policy makers so after six years what will be the level of government expenditure considering the current rate of change uh, if we want to find out this thing we can simply uh, substitute the value of time as six wherever it is to be substituted these are the two places and once if we put g uh, uh, six here it becomes g six and um, t was uh, substituted we had 6 where you can easily simplify this and we can get the answer so it tells us that the population will be uh, government expenditure will be this much after uh, 6 years which is a helpful information for the policy makers and for the analysts so by using the first order differential equations we can address this uh, practical issue of the government expenditure of a country and it was done numerically diagrammatically and from the policy perspective as well by using the first order differential equations thank you